When it comes to something like this, we have three main tools that we can use to do something like this. So starting off with the first two tools, if you right click onto the eighth tool down, which is the healing brush tool, you'll see something called spot healing brush tool and something called healing brush tool. If you go further down the tools, you'll also see the clone stamp tool. This one works the same. It copies nearby textures. Now this one is a lot more sharper on the edges and more noticeable. So that's why we will only focus on the first two, which are healing brush tool and the spot healing brush tool. The difference between these two is the first one. So we're going to start on the healing brush tool. If you select this one and we hold alt scroll up to zoom in a little bit more. So with this one, you can increase the brush size by using the square brackets on a keyboard. If you don't have a mouse or if you have a mouse, then you can hold alt and then hold the right side of the mouse out and then drag it out to increase it or decrease the size. Let's say 40. And to start using it, all you have to do is hold Alt. Once you've found yourself an area that you want to use, let's say we're going to sample a texture from here. You just left click. You can see it working. We are now copying that texture from the top onto here. And it is doing a great job. So that is the more manual way of doing it. If you wanted to just right click on here and go to the spot healing brush tool, this one won't give you the option to copy the texture, but it will automatically detect and guess what the best nearby texture is. Left click and then highlight what you want it to remove. So for example, we want this away bit right here to be removed. So once you've got it all selected, you just let go of it. And as you can see, it's removed it. It's not perfect. There will be areas, for example, this bit right here, which you will need to just once again, highlight it and then replace it again. And it will just keep on re-texturing that area as much as possible until you're happy with it. So this little bit right here as well. And let's say we don't want this stay as well. We will get rid of this one. Quite ironic because the tattoo stays to stay, but we're removing it and there we go. It's messed up this little corner bit. So we'll need to decrease the size, make it a little bit smaller and then remove this bit right here. Now, one thing you have to remember this is it will use nearby textures. So the reason why it's done that is because it's come in contact with the actual eyebrow itself. So you just want to avoid things that you don't want it to touch. And we could just keep on fixing this as you can see as many times as you want. And there we go. We've removed one tattoo. It is that simple. We can remove this bit as well. We can also do the sword right here. There we go. It's not done a great job, but you can just keep on reselecting it. And like I said, if it's not doing a good job, you can just right click on here and then swap on over to the other one, which is manual and then decrease the size, hold alt, click on an area and then sample that area over. So with this one, you have more of a flexibility of what you want to use rather than using just the content aware one. We want to also get rid of this bit down here. The great thing about this tool is it will always try to blend whatever it is, the texture, so it's not visible. So we could just keep on going, removing the tattoo right here. So there we go. It's going to be a little bit more difficult when we get to the hair, but once again, we could just keep on blending things and that doesn't look too bad at the moment. If you want to, you can get yourself textures from even further away. So for example, we can get ourselves one from here and apply it onto here. As you can see, it works just the same for this one. I'm going to swap it over back to the other one because it's not really near any textures. So it will find it very easy to remove it as you can see. So we could just keep on highlighting all of this. And there we go. You don't want to get yourself too much. Just get yourself what is needed. Otherwise you'll have massive patches. There we go. That is looking really good. We'll remove that one. You can remove the little areas as well. Remove this one right here. And it's quite satisfying to watch. 
seen it like disappear. It does it really quick and easy. It is a simple task for the computer to do because all it has to do is use content aware to replace those textures with nearby ones. As you can see, this is the bit where we may struggle a bit more because it's closer to the edge. So we may need to swap on over to the other tool, which is the heal and brush tool. And just keep on copying the texture. Now, here's another problem as well that we're going to run into. As you can see, when we got close to the hair, it will blend these two together and that's what we don't want. So this is when we can swap on over to the clone stamp tool, which is right here. And this one will allow you to decrease the size copy the texture over, and then it will more than likely make it so it is more solid on the edge. This also has its own problem as well. And the, that problem is, as you can see, the color is very off. So you just have to keep on playing about between these different tools. So sometimes you may not need to use it, sometimes you do. We can try to just copy the color from here and the color from the bottom right here. That is a little bit less visible. As long as we've got ourselves the edge removed, everything else will be fine. So we're just going to focus on the edge at the moment. Get rid of this. That will blend in with the hair nicely. We're also going to get ourselves one from here. Remove it from there. Make sure you also update the colors constantly because different areas of the face have different colors as well. So you want to make sure you get yourself the right samples. All right, so we're gonna get rid of this bit right here. Be careful you don't touch the other areas. That's when it will copy them over. We also want to get ourselves this one right here. We're gonna get ourselves this one removed. If you wanted to, you can use spacebar. So if you press spacebar, this will quickly swap on over to the freehand tool, making it so much easier for you to just move around. We need to fix up this area right here, and that's very simple. Back to the heal and brush tool. Make sure you select in the manual one. Make sure the size is decent, and then copy the color over, or the skin. And there we go. We are now blending this back together, making the edges more realistic. So that's pretty much it. That's, that's like the goal of it. You just want to blend the textures together but you don't want them to blend on the edges. Otherwise, that's when it, you know, makes it seem off and unrealistic. You also have to be careful the areas it picks up. So far, so good. Just have to be patient with it. Like I said, some areas are simple, but some of them are awkward as well. It's a bit of both, just the way things are. But yeah, so far it's looking really good. Make sure that the colors are all nicely blended. This area, once again, we can switch on over to the spot tool and then save ourselves some time by highlighting all of it. There we go, that's gone. Get rid of these. It may still remain a little bit more gray, as you can see right there where the colors are blended. So what we can do for that area is we can get ourselves the brush tool. We can get ourselves a new layer. And then on that layer, while you're selecting the brush tool, you can hold Alt. This will swap on over to the eyedropper. Copy yourself the color or the most average color on here. And then once you've copied that color over, you can then increase the brush size a little bit bigger and then you could paint onto here like so. So as you can see, we are now painting that color onto here to get rid of that gray looking color. And there we go, that's gone. But we also need to either fade the edges or we can just simply go onto the effect for the layer, go down to color, and then there we go. You can also turn down the opacity if it's too much, and then that will 
decrease the sensitivity of it and make it a little bit more flat. We're just going to use the healing brush tool and then blend this area a little bit more so it's less visible. There we go. Sometimes you may need to blend them to make them a little bit less visible. So this corner bit right here, we can add a little bit of a darkness effect. And there we go. This is the before and then this is after. 